I decided we're going to use mud blocks for the first floor facade on the second house here. And this is my first time dealing with mud blocks. They didn't exist back then, back in 2020. So let's collect them. As you can see, I already collected some. I read on the internet that you you have to pour water upon it, and it will become mud. But I think it, which I think is actually a an interesting interesting mechanic. Like most Minecraft players, I have concerns over bloating with so many block, so many blocks, so many new blocks. But this one I enjoy. It. We can create vernacular architecture with mud so, and clay. So well, I think this was an interesting addition. I don't know why underwater dirt doesn't automatically become mud, but okay. Let's make underwater dirt wet with our water bottles and we'll have our mud blocks in no time. Hello. So, I know we can create packet mud. I combine it with wheat, but I have to learn how to create mud bricks because I think I think I'm going to use mud bricks for most of the facade here. Okay, it's getting dark. Let's finish this. I made some mud bricks here and some. Well, I had some packet mud, but it's gone now. I use it all in the bricks. Oh, I think actually I had some packet mud, but I think... Oh, there it is. I realized this is too narrow. We won't be able to do anything cool with that. It's far too narrow, so we're going to increase it one block. It's probably not enough. But at least we can do some with this. Okay. So this is going to be a door. I prefer to have two doors here, but there's not enough space. I will use some packet mud here to make this column. And a placeholder there, that's the, the other color. That's that's good. Better than nothing. Uh, maybe I'll leave a small window here. It's not how I envisioned it originally, but I'm gonna have to make you right. Oh, this is gonna make it even worse, we want it. But trust me. Trust in the process. Don't I have any doors? Let me grab some doors in. There are probably a few here. Oh, yes. That is exactly what I want. I'm gonna change the flow, won't be stones, I promise. Trust the process, guys. Trust the process. There. Come on. Oh, why can't I place?
This will do for now. It's ugly. <laughs> I know. But bear with me, okay? It will improve. I was supposed to make a three story house here. But I think I'm only gonna make a two story. Because I don't want it to eclipse the, the library too much. I'm already going to lose so many windows over there. Don't want you to lose too much, but the other ones will be taller. This way we can also save that tree, which is a beautiful tree, so it's for the best. Now what I want some red sand blocks. I think we have something like this in Minecraft. Don't remember the exact the exact name, but that's what I'm going to look for next. That's how the, the second story is going to be. And of course we're going to finish the columns here with the packet mud as soon as I get some wheat. Uh, I got some red sandstone, orange terracotta and some cut red sandstone that we're going to use for the second floor. And let's just start by making like by containing this column here using the regular sandstone. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay. I had envisioned this a little different, but this will do. Facade. Then we can finish the sides later. Let me have a look at how it's going. Come on, die. Good job. Okay, this is pretty much done. I only need to finish the rooftop and the side walls. So we are mostly done with the first house. Okay, as I said before, the facade is the most important part here. And most of this neighborhood will be just for show. And it's mostly done, you can see. I, I wanted to, to make a three-story house at first. But I think it will eclipse too much of what we already made in the library. So this one will be two stories only, but most of the others, if not all, will be three stories buildings, okay? But that's it. We're mostly done now. There are a few details in the rooftop that I must finish. So uh, I have a business trip in a few hours, so I won't be back home for the better part of the week and that's why I wanted to just make the video ready and show you how far we progress so you guys can have an idea of what's to come okay I can already imagine the third house over there it will be facing this direction here and probably the other house as well and that's it guys I hope you like it and this is a sign of things to come, okay, I, I want to finish this neighborhood as quickly as possible to show you all guys how it's going to look. Thank you very much. And if you want to see the rest in the future, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you next. Have a great one.